In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test the Darlington Array. The Darlington Array is located in the lower left hand corner of the development board. It's this chip right here. This is the ULN 2003. What you need to note and pay attention to is make sure that the notch of the chip is facing up. That is so that we have our chip incorrectly and we then have the correct control over that chip. Also be careful when inserting that chip that none of those pins get bent, so be very careful in doing that. Once you have the chip in there, then we can go ahead and do the testing process. Now the ULN Darlington Array simply allows us to use a variety of voltages to control devices. It also allows us to use a higher current to control those devices. But we're going to use our relay as a test load for this. To use and control items using the Darlington Array, all we need to do is provide it with a logic high on the left side, and then provide our connection to our load using the corresponding connection to the right. The Darlington Array will be syncing the circuit, the current, so what we need to do is provide the connection to ground with our device. So let's go ahead and do that first. So if you remember, on my relay, the bottom connection was my ground connection. So I'm going to go ahead and connect it to my Darlington Array in the topmost position. We're simply going to start at the top and work our way down. I also need to provide power to that relay in form of VDD. So I'm going to take my yellow wire, make my connection to VDD. What you'll notice is that there is no clicking. So, well, you know, I've got a ground connection, I've got a VDD connection. Why isn't my relay being activated and clicking? The reason is, is that this ground connection has not been completed. We have a connection over here, but the Darlington array has not been uh, controlled to make that final ground connection. To do that, we need to take and provide a logic high. So I'm going to take a wire, go into that topmost pin on the left side, and then go to VDD. When I do that, you'll then hear the clicking sound. So this has then made a connection internal to that chip to ground, completing that circuit, energizing that relay. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna hold this down and go ahead and just toggle that logic high so you'll hear the click. All right, so we know that's working. If I wanted to check all of my other inputs and outputs in my Darlington Array, I would simply move my uh, load, which is my relay, down one, and I need to control the corresponding input on the left side. So once again, take my VDD connection. The Darlington Array has a total of seven inputs and seven outputs, so we can check on number two here, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't do the bottom two connections. Those are used for other purposes and are already connected on the board. So just check the top seven. So I would go all the way down. Let's say I check the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth. I'm now in the seventh. I would go ahead and move my logic signal down to that seventh position. You can hear that it's clicking. So I verified that my uh, Darlington Array is working correctly.